Hi, my name is Russ, and I'm going to show you how to use Trigger CMD with Power Automate from Microsoft. It used to be called uh, Microsoft Flow, but uh, they've renamed it to Power Automate. So um, I've built a uh, a flow they call it, and uh, I'll just show you how to you know how it works. Basically, um, when a Dropbox file is dropped in this folder, it should uh, trigger this and um, what this is, the, the, here's the action. It's going to run a command on the computer called DS, um, and this command uh, called Notepad, and uh, and what it, it it'll send it a parameter of you know all of this, uh, which is my profile. You know basically the folder in Dropbox uh, with the with the file name. So it's basically going to run Notepad space the whole path to the file. Um, so if I'll, I'll create a file here called I don't know, flow test one or two, whatever, and put some stuff in it. This is a test. And in a minute, that should just pop up in Notepad because, again, it's going to run, let's see here, it's going to run this Notepad command. And you can see I've got allow parameters set to true. So um, Flow will be able to actually send a parameter of this file name, including its path, to Notepad. So we'll give it a, give that a minute, and I'll actually cut out some of the time because you know Flow doesn't, or I guess Power Automate doesn't, uh, you know, check every second. It'll it'll take a few minutes. So there it goes. Um, you know, it took I don't know a couple of minutes. So it's not instant, but you know at least it it works. And now let me show you how I built this. Um, I will start a new flow from scratch. Just click new, uh, create an automated from blank. Uh, give it a name like flow test. And you know you won't find trigger C and D in in the trigger portion. It's kind of like if this then that. Uh, the trigger portion is like the the this part. Um, you won't find it because there are no, you know, there's nothing you can do in trigger CMD that'll trigger a flow. You can have a flow trigger something in trigger CMD, but not the other way around. So you have to pick something, um, and I picked, uh, you know, something that actually can trigger a flow. You can search. Um, so what I did is I just searched for Dropbox. It says what when a file is created. So then you pick a folder, and then here I'll just pick the root. And next step, this is where you pick trigger C and D. Uh, sorry, it, my my account is a little bit different because uh, you know I'm the developer, but you just pick trigger C and D. You only have one option, and then you pick a computer, and then a command notepad and then the parameters and um, I did percent user user profile percent backslash dropbox low test or actually I guess we're picking the root in this case and then save so now if I drop a file in uh, Dropbox in the root it'll actually um, run notepad with uh, oops I didn't I'm sorry I missed a step I gotta put the file name in there with a backslash. Um, now that's the that's output from the previous step. And so that's how you build it. Um, you know, if you like this, say you know, subscribe and and like this. Thanks.